Hey y'all, welcome to another Saturday Suds on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Bear Reviews. Hey, I got another brew from a brew club this week. Alright, so last week we had a, a Uinta Golden Spike. And I actually took the time, I actually took the time to look it up on the internet to see how to pronounce this. And I was correct, it is Uinta, that's how you pronounce it. And what this is, Uinta is like a, it's a range of mountains uh in utah that stretches into wyoming um so this is uinta brewing company today's brew is a lime pilsner from uinta um lager with natural lime flavors uh this stuff is brewed in salt lake city utah it uh <laughs> Uh. <laughs> that's that's disappointing all right keep cold for best flavor enjoy in a glass all right so we fixing to pour it off in a mug <laughs> this is a little disappointing all right so i've got on here this is from a blue my brew club i've got a black mark marking out the best before date right there Y'all can see that. It says best before 3, 23, 22. So this is uh, out of date by a little over a month. Um, that's a little bit disappointing. There is no ABV on this bottle. That really irks me. Because the other Uinta I had had the ABV on the bottle. This is this doesn't have it. Does not have the ABV. I will put it in the description, but that really aggravates the dog crap out of me. Dad gummit. Y'all can't put the ABV on the bottle somewhere. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna try to enjoy this lime pilsner by Uinta that's uh expired by about a little over a month <laughs> today on a friday or a saturday suds <sighs> anyway whatever dad gummit just disappointments Poor that thing hard boy splashing everywhere look at that <laughs> oh look at that Ooh, man I, I cut it off just at the right time i mean it's right at the rim <laughs> and by the by the look of it it looks like it's got lime juice in it because it's hazy it's gold but it's hazy and almost a greenish tint to it that sounds kind of weird but uh, it, it does kind of have a little bit of a greenish tint that may be all the green greenery in my background here uh, contributing to that i don't know Ooh, I can smell the lime in it. Whew. I can smell that lime. <sighs> Taste the lime in the head. It's not overpowering. I mean, it's not real strong. It's just you can taste the lime lime flavor and just maybe a hint of tartness but not much at all in the head but you can taste that lime flavor anything in the bottom of you we're going to find out it's a little bit hazy to start with I don't know if I'll add anything to it or not Yeah, it's still got a it's still got a little film on the bottom of that bottle. I don't know if sh shaking it up with more would have got that off there or not. Got just a little bit of film on the bottom of it, and of course that could be partially contributed to the fact that it's a little bit out of date when they shipped it to me to start with. All right. Anyway, I still enjoy my beer club, y'all. I get beers from all over the place. And I really enjoy them. That that, that right there kind of, mm, that's a little bit deceptive there. I don't like that. 
I don't like that they marked out the best before right there with a black marker. You see that? Best before 3, 23, 22. That pisses me off just a little bit. That's deceptive. I do not like deception. I hate deception. I hate it. A liar is the same thing as a damn thief. And I, I used to work retail. And I, there ain't much I hate worse than a damn thief. And a liar is a thief of the truth. And deception pisses me off. I don't like it. I believe in being up front and forward and, you know, I, that irritates me. All right, so anyway, soapbox to the side. <laughs> We're going to try to enjoy this anyway. The head's delicious. It's got just a hint of lime in it. Um, and not too tart. And, and if y'all watch my videos, y'all know I don't care too much for sour beers. But I can tolerate tartness. Tartness is okay. But when it gets to the, just the sour, you know, I just, I'm not much into that. So anyway, this uh, Uinta Lime Pilsner is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the work that you do day in and day out, week after week. To provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way and not depend on the dadgum government to do it. Thank you for what you do. I know what it's like. Cheers, brothers and sisters. That's actually pretty good. It's actually very good. Um... It's not the best beer I've ever had. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, if you watch my videos, I did a uh, Dos Equis Lime and Salt on a Saturday. Um, it was better. <laughs> the Dos Equis was better. Um, this is good, but it's not hardly that good. Um, it's got the it's got just a hint of tartness in it, um, but it's lacking just a little bit. And of course, the last week's Uinta's brew was a little bit lacking in carbonation. This is not lacking in carbonation, it's just lacking a little bit in. It's just. It's good. And, and, and you know, it's got a pleasant flavor, but. Uh, Okay, so in the head, the lime had a distinct flavor. In the body, it's, it's a little weak to me. A little bit weaker in the body, not as pronounced as it was in the Dos Sikis. Um, I, I Personally, I would go for the Dos Sikis with the lime and salt. It was delicious bright beautiful good man it was delicious this is okay it just does not have that it just doesn't have it it's not bad I'm not gonna pour it out I'm gonna drink it even though it's expired by a month and so <laughs> I'm sorry y'all but that, that just makes me mad that that's deceptive I don't like it all right y'all enough of my soapbox I, I I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Um, leave me a comment. Uh, what What do you think about deception? How does that affect you? I mean, it, it really, really pisses me off. I, and you see it all the time. Nobody cares anymore about deception. You see it in advertisement regardless, man. They'll, advertisement, they'll advertise something on TV, and whatever they say, they'll put little words down there at the bottom that'll that'll you know negate everything they just told you in the advertisement y'all pay attention to it watch it it's deception and that pisses me off i can't stand deception you know i try to be upfront and forward with everybody tell them the truth i mean that's you know that your integrity and character depends on that kind of stuff and anybody that uses deception they lose my respect immediately boom they're done you know, and I am very disappointed in this right here. I am very, very disappointed in that. I'm telling you, that, that pisses me off. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I'll be back next week. Um, 
Y'all stay tuned. Take care. Love and appreciate y'all. Cheers.